Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. So we have three patients in our video. This first patient's come through not particularly with reduced hearing on this side because we can see the eardrum there but just a kind of feeling of blocked up sensation especially when they chew uh, or when they lay on their ears they feel a bit blocked up in the morning so the reason for that is that the wax here is very very soft so it means it's forming to the shape of the ear canal when someone lays on their ear the, the outer part of the ear canal compresses changes shape slightly so this soft sticky wax then is sticking all over the ear canal walls just blocking everything up so during the you know as they get up and move around the jaw moves a little bit then it all opens back up again so because it's nice and soft we're using the standard size ulna tube here just to get a grip on it you can see we've already started detaching it from the canal walls so we're just gonna gently maneuver this out now here we go whoops got stuck about halfway out there just get a grip on that you can see it's really sticky because it's stuck to the outer part of the canal now we'll take a look at that there's the eardrum there just put a, a, just to slow down the video a little bit so you could see so this is the the second ear same patient second ear so you can see very soft wax in this side as well not so much of a gap so that so the wax has been sort of stuck really close to the eardrum down there because there's a big gap at the top we're going to still stick with the uh the standard size on the tube so i think we'll get a good grip on this so lifting it from the front end here, just trying to detach the, from the canal wall. You can see a little bit of dry skin there getting sucked into the machine. That kind of top layer, top skin layer of the uh, the canal wall there. Okay, so it's going back in now. Lifting the edge, just trying to pull it into the, into the uh, suction tube. Getting a little bit of a grip on it there. It's just starting to suck the smaller, softer bits inside the machine. Um, just while I'm doing this bit guys just let you know there won't be any videos next week because I'm on leave so I'm taking some time off of the family but they'll resume back to normal the week after if that's okay um, sprayed a little bit of olive oil in here just to reduce some of the stickiness around the outside edge you can see we've got a random red here in there as well so we're just getting a grip on this trying to aim above that little bit of skin that keeps flicking up there to try and get to the wax beyond it but that little bit of skin is really getting in the way. So we're going to get a good grip on this, hopefully detach it. Wiggling it back and forth. Here you go. You can see it's starting to get sucked into the machine, which allows me then to get to the wax that's sitting behind that. That little bit of skin was just holding it in place. Just block the end of the suction. So we'll just clear that out and go back in again. Still a little tiny bit of skin there now we're starting to see the movement there you go so it's, it's on its way out now so we just got to actually get a grip bit of wiggling and this should work its way down the canal you can see it's hit a kind of a narrow section there it's a little bit stuck to the sides a bit more of a wiggle trying to get a good enough grip on it there you go just gently rocking it up and down and there we are that's the blockage there so we'll take a look behind and there's the eardrum there canal walls are looking nice and healthy so this is what we removed you can see this little tiny bits of hair in there as well um, just to give you some idea of the size of what we take away okay so this is the second patient in our compilation um, this gentleman's come through reduced hearing really uh, mainly on one side not so much uh, with an issue on the other side just a little tiny bit of irritation to the ear on the other ear so you can see the wax is that little bit deeper in than the last patient, but still looking quite soft. So we're going to just use the standard size ulna tube here just to peel around the edges. You can see just lifting there. There you go. So that kind of sheen you can see on the, on the wax is either normally an indication that the wax itself is quite soft or that a little bit of oil has been used in there. In this case, you can see there's a bit of kind of softer edges to the wax, but more of a, a harder core to it. So it, does look a bit more like the olive oil more than uh, more than the softness to the wax there just peeling away the canal wall uh, from the canal wall on the edges as we always do just trying to get a grip on the central section there just trying to hold uh, the suction tube in place just to try and um, 
get a good grip, so a good firm suction grip on that piece of wax. Just looking for any kind of purchase we can get on this plug because it is like firmly wedged in here. So we're just going to aim for working on the center. You can see a little bit of movement to the to the wax there, a little bit of dry skin encapsulating this, which you can see at the bottom of the the plug. There we are. Just start to see a tiny bit of movement there. There you go, left and right movement. So it's slowly moving this down the canal, very slowly. Trying to get a good grip. Just trying to, like I said, hold it in place. It's difficult because you try and hold it in place to, to keep the suction up, but you're also trying to draw it towards you. Um, so sometimes you'll feel the suction get a good grip, and as you draw it towards you, then it just loses suction. So you have to pop it back on, hold it there for a second or two, wiggle it again, which is what we're doing here, just to move it a bit further down the canal. You can see now we're coming towards the outside edge, still moving forward, a little bit broke away there. And there, you can see it, it's, it's a kind of a fine line to tread as far as maintaining the suction grip, but also trying not to break too many pieces off it. So we ideally want to try and keep this as one big piece if we can. There we are, just see a bit of movement to the top portion of the wax there, that's come away now. There's more behind it. That should give us a little bit more wiggle room. You can see where this wax has started to dry out a little bit. There we are. We've got a grip there. Now see it starting to move. We've got a good grip in the center. Trying to aim for the same spot again if we can. There, that's the that's the kind of that's the Goldilocks zone of this wax. You can see we've got a really good grip on that section. There we are, it's working its way forwards almost out of the canal. There you go, one last wiggle and out your pops. And we'll take a look behind that. So you can actually see the oil there from the back end of the wax where it's been stuck to the eardrum all across the top section there. So this is the patient's second ear. Um, like I said, not really having any difficulty with the hearing, but just more of an irritation on that side. So a patient asked if we could remove this wax, so we, we, we said we would. Yes, kind of you can see where the outer section there where they've been using a bit of oil on this one as well It's just kind of more liquefied the wax. It's turned more of a kind of a mush and then you've got this harder Smoother section a bit further in Just trying to peel away from that canal wall There you go aiming for that smooth section again They're trying to find a flatter surface to get a, a better grip on with the suction. So just lifting from the bottom, trying to lift up into the center of the canal now to detach it. There you go, you can see it start to fold forwards. There we are. Take that a little bit away. Just get rid of some of these looser bits of uh, dry flakes of skin and bits on the outside. We can see the eardrum there. I mean, we could see the top anyway. There we are, there's the eardrum, all looking really healthy. So that, to the left-hand side was the plug, the first plug we removed, to the right-hand side was that little bit from the other ear canal. You see quite dark in colour, has been sat in there quite some time. Last patient of the compilation now, guys. So this patient's come through um, with this kind of same, very similar issues to the first patient. So this very blocked up sensation first thing in the morning, uh, which slowly clears throughout the day. Um, just you know if, if they can they can feel some squelching in their ears we've got very soft wax here so you can see it we've got a grip on the base section the whole bottom section's coming out now a little bit of skin around the outside edge has just held that in place so it's actually worked in our favor and then we'll go in there and we can see another good flap of skin there that gets sucked into the machine there he goes and that just frees up this top section then to get rid of This type of wax removal is always lovely to do because it's it's usually pretty easy. Um, once you get a grip, especially if it, if it's not completely blocking the canal, it'll come away in uh, in in nice big kind of chunks. So you can see we've got this little sort of letterbox in the middle there where we can see the uh, eardrum through, but um, wax at the top and bottom there. So similar procedure to the other side. We're just going to grip get the grip on this bottom section. Here we go. And then aim for the kind of middle section now. 
just going to grip on the outside edge. This looks like it's one big piece. There it is. That's actually brought the top out. Aim to get a little bit more of the bottom section where you can see that kind of skin ribbon like it was on the other side. Just getting sucked into the machine then. Maybe there's another section there. One more bit to go. Here we go. And out it comes. And there's the eardrum there. Not so much of a light reflex on the eardrum. You can see it was a little bit dull and grey. So this is what we removed here from both ears. And the same in inches. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.